Muchas bendiciones, hermanos católicos y amigos. La paz del Señor esté con cada uno de ustedes. Y gracias por escucharnos por este canal Defiende tu Fe Católico. Mi nombre es Oscar. Un saludo para todos ustedes y gracias por su apoyo. También recordándote que puedas suscribirte a nuestro canal. Y los que aún no lo han hecho, los invito a que lo hagan. También dale like al video para que YouTube lo pueda recomendar y así muchas personas verán y es una manera de poder evangelizar. Bueno, los invito a que hagamos esta oración y lo vamos a hacer en el nombre del Padre, del Hijo y del Espíritu Santo. Amén. Dios te salve María, llena eres de gracia. El Señor es contigo. Bendita tú eres entre todas las mujeres y bendito es el fruto de tu vientre Jesús. Jesús. Santa María, Madre de Dios, ruega por nosotros, pecadores, ahora y en la hora de nuestra muerte. Amén. Bueno, hermanos y amigos, estamos con otro tema más. As Catholics, we've been terribly quiet all these years. In all these years, from the time they took out Our Lady to the time they took out the, the tabernacle to the time they took out stations, the time they took out all devotion, the time at this point they have changed our churches, they closed them. And now we're not even allowed in many, many When areas to awesome kneel. When presence comes down into this one little host, some lounge, some sit, some stand. I'm tired of enneagrams, I'm tired of your witchcraft, I'm tired, I'm tired of being pushed in corners, I'm tired of your inclusive language that refuses to admit the Son of God is a man, I'm tired of your tricks, I'm tired of your deceit, I'm tired of you constantly just making a crack, no. This was deliberate. I am so tired of you liberal church in America. To destroying our churches and closing churches that are viable and, and ready to go. No, this is not an accident. And we've swallowed this now for 30 years. And I'm tired of it. You don't believe in the Eucharist, you don't believe in the Immaculate Conception, you don't believe in the Virgin Birth, you don't believe in Mary's power of intercession, you don't believe in religious life, you don't believe in being a spouse of Christ, you do believe in teaching to little children of the third grade sex education, you do believe in forcing centering prayer and forcing inclusive language upon us, and now you depict Jesus as a woman. You're sick. I'm not, I'm not going to accept that. I'm a Roman Catholic. I'm a Latin Rite. I don't like your church. You have nothing to offer. You do nothing but destroy. We're not going to take your inclusive language. We're not going to stand or lounge. We're going to kneel before that wondrous Eucharist. We're not going to go for all those crazy things that you're pushing out as new and cultural. We have taken everything and we have been obedient. To what? To a destructive force. I've made my statement. I don't care whether you like it or not. It's time somebody said something about all these tiny little cracks that you have been putting for the past 30 years into the church. And now you tell us when to stand and when to sit. You tell us that I cannot kneel before the presence of my Lord. You're not going to do that. You see this collar? We had this little modern collar so that we would really appeal to this modern world, this pagan society. Am I bitter? No. But I'm being realistic. We're going to change it. 
We're going to look very Roman. Because I'm making a statement. You make your statements. I'm making mine. Uh, it's so funny about these liberals. Uh, they call us traditional, and there's a big mortal sin. Uh, with tradi if you're traditional, there's something. Just to, you need some help. You know what I mean? You're just ill. And and they tell me now that I've gone backwards by wearing this habit. And yet they go to the fourth century and tell you to stand. <laughs> you know what I just said? You know what I just said, don't you? They go back to the fourth century and say, now we stand because in the fourth century they stood. Hey, I'm going forward. This habit is going forward. If you're all back in the fourth century, because they stood, they stood because they were being persecuted. First, second, third century. And even then we don't know if they stood. How can somebody tell me that in the third century they stood for the Eucharist? I mean, you got some kind of brain. Maybe a mystic you are, huh? You got some vision that see all these people standing in the third, fourth century. How can you stand? How can you stand? When the third person of the tree, the Holy Spirit, comes down into the hands of a priest, in that awesome moment, when he changes that bread into the body, blood, soul, and divinity, how can you stand? You know, somebody told me that they stood because if they went to the sea, the President of the United States, they would stand. So would I. But, <laughs> but the President of the United States, sweetheart, is not God. That may be a revelation. He's not God. You see, I kneel not to a man, I kneel to God. If I kneel to a man, I would be an idolater. To me, it's such an act of, I will not serve. The Luciferian sin is everywhere. There must be at least one good, holy Catholic church in your area. A church that believes in the Eucharist and believes you should... No te olvides de suscribirte a nuestro canal. Dale like al video para que YouTube lo pueda recomendar a otras personas y activa la campanita de notificaciones. Deja tus comentarios y nos vemos en un próximo video. Bendiciones.